Hello, I'm JW. Uh, this time we've got another consumer unit to have a look at, and this is also one that's actually installed and in use. And as with the uh, previous one we saw, this is not one that I installed, and therefore uh, nothing to do with me in terms of how it may look. Now, this particular one is uh, considerably older, as in some of the wiring is sort of uh, 35 to 40 years old. The consumer unit itself is not actually that old, it's only sort of uh, probably between 5 and 10 years old, and uh, it doesn't contain any RCDs. This is the one with the main switch and then various devices attached after that. So let's go and have a look. And uh, as is often the case with these things, this is stuck up in a high cupboard in a fairly inconvenient place. But uh, nevertheless, we'll see what we can see in there. Now here we are on the cupboard and uh, you can see on the right there I've got the incoming cable from the bottom. And this is a fairly old one, so it's probably sort of 30, 40 years old. The uh, supply is cut out at the uh, top there with a the fuse and the two wires coming out going to the electricity meter there in the middle. And uh, this is again a fairly modern meter. It's got a mechanical register, but the rest of it is obviously plastic. It's certainly not one of the old uh, revolving disc varieties. And uh, this particular installation has a rather odd arrangement with the earthing. See at the top there, there's a wire coming out of the cutout, which would imply it was one of these uh, T and CS varieties. And at the bottom, we've got one attached to the covering of the cable. So not entirely clear what the situation with that is. But the uh, consumer unit is actually over this side, and you see this is a plastic unit. And you notice from the label there, the last inspection was in 2010, and it was recommended to have one two years later. And of course, it's uh, four years after that, so again, that's not too surprising. And if we have a look at the uh, devices inside, um, you can see there we've got the main switch on the right, and then we've got various devices after that, the uh, first two of which there are RCBOs which is a circuit breaker and an RCD combined into the single unit. And you can see that at the top, we've got the little blue test buttons on the top edge. And the next device, uh, which is actually marked there for lights and uh, smoke alarm, that's just a normal circuit breaker. And there's a blank space. And then at the end there, we've got two more RCBOs. So again, the uh, RCD functionality built in. And you can see those little blue test buttons on the top edge. Now the one in the middle there with the black lever, it is the same manufacturer, which is Hager in this case, but the uh, black one is actually of an older type. It's just they updated the design and they have grey levers on the newer ones, but uh, other than that uh, it's actually the same design, so no particular problem with that. And the main switch in this, as in all of these, is not any kind of overload or circuit breaker. It is simply just a switch and it's all purpose there so you can manually switch that on and off. Now here's a look with the cover removed, and as you can see, this is another one of these fairly untidy efforts. See the main uh, supply coming in at the bottom right there on the two uh, larger wires, and those go straight into the top of the main switch, which is the one there with the red handle. And from the bottom of the main switch there, you can just about see at the bottom there, you've got that blue conductor coming out of the bottom. That just goes up to the uh, neutral bar, which is at the top right there. Just see that wide fat conductor going in at the right hand side. And then uh, from the bottom of the switch there we've got the uh, live bus bar which basically comes out of the bottom of there and then has prongs which go into the bottom of the five devices there. So you've got your uh, RCBOs and that single circuit breaker in the middle. And the uh, plastic cover that has on the bottom just to insulate it, so it's actually slipped to the uh, left somewhat so there's a bit of live copper being exposed at the bottom. And uh, yes, that is a spirit level in the bottom of the case there. The uh, Hager ones have that as a standard feature. Now at the top here, you can see the various uh, circuit wiring coming in. And you see there's a bit of a mixture there of the newer blue and brown colouring, and also some older black and red as well. And you notice on the uh, circuit breaker, which is the one in the centre there, which is a much uh, shorter device, it only has the red wires going in the top which is the line conductors, and the neutrals of that circuit connect straight into that bar at the top right. But for the others, which are the RCBOs, because they have to monitor the current in the live and the neutral, then you'll see that in the top you've actually got two terminals for the uh, line and neutral. So the ones on the left there have got the brown and blue going in, and then the ones over on the right got the black and red. And the neutral connection for these actually is a separate lead which comes out of the RCBO device. And those actually go up to the neutral bar at the top right there. 
So if you can see those black wires, which are all sort of bundled up there towards the top right of the picture there, that's just sort of excess spare length. And then the ends just go into the neutral bar at the top. So the uh, current base is flowing in the bottom of the RCBO device, out into the circuit via the, say, the brown wires there for the ones on the left, returning via the neutral, going through the RCBO device again, coming out of that again and going via the black flying leads over to the neutral bar. And of course, as it's an AC circuit, then that obviously reverses direction and goes back the other way at 50 hertz. And you've got the uh, circuit protective conductors there, or the earth wires will go into that bar at the top centre. And those white wires there are basically functional earth connections, which are from the RCBOs. There's one for each, and again, they're sort of a bit uh, tangled and uh, twisted all over the place. But those are basically there so the RCBO can sense whether the earth is still connected. And it's mainly there so that if there was a fault on the neutral or that became disconnected, then the RCBO can detect that and disconnect. And uh, other than that, uh, say it's a fairly standard sort of arrangement. Now you can still buy this arrangement of a consumer unit with this basically called a main switch unit, because when you buy these, they literally come with just the main switch, and then you buy your other devices to go in there. And uh, these days you would essentially put RCBOs in for all the circuits, because it's uh, pretty much required for everything, mainly due to cables being concealed in the walls. Now this particular one, there's no RCBO or RCD protection on the lighting circuit, which is that central 6 amp circuit breaker. And that's purely because this is an older installation, where of course such a thing was not required. And there's just a quick overview of the whole arrangement. And basically what you're seeing there is the full width of the cupboard. And if you just look up there, that uh, is actually the ceiling of the room. So again, we're sort of very high up and in a fairly inconvenient place. This actually is in the corner of a kitchen, it's got the sort of remains of the kitchen stuff in there. And uh, to actually get to this, I just have to remove a whole pile of stuff out of the cupboard. And again, that's certainly not ideal, but unfortunately it's actually a very common situation. So that was a quick look there at a main switch consumer unit. And you can still buy those, it's uh, basically called that because when you buy it, it's just an empty box. And the only device in there is the main switch, which is the one with that red handle on that particular example and then you buy the other devices to fit in as required. And uh, normally it's going to be RCBOs these days, because again, most circuits do require RCD protection. That particular one doesn't have any on the lighting, but that's just because it's an older installation, and whoever fitted that consumer unit presumably decided that uh, it didn't need any on the lighting for some reason. Though given they've put it on all of the others, it uh, seems a bit surprising that they didn't just bother to put one on that as well. And uh, we'll have a look uh, next time at an RCBO and how that actually fits into a consumer unit because it wasn't particularly obvious uh, from that uh, example. And of course the wiring there was remarkably untidy and all sort of stuffed in in a uh, random kind of fashion. But uh, essentially you can uh, put either RCBOs in there or uh, just normal circuit breakers. And uh, generally that's a much better solution than the uh, twin RCD affairs which are marketed these days as being compliant because on those any fault only affects the individual circuit, whereas with the uh, twin RCD things, a uh, neutral to earth fault or a line to earth fault will result in about half of the things going off, which uh, certainly is not convenient or desirable. The disadvantage of those, of course, is that they cost more, and therefore if you want to go for the cheap option, well, you're going to get one of those uh, dual RCD things, because they're just cheaper and uh, therefore likely to be fitted more often. But uh, So we'll have a look at that next time, and until then, Thanks for watching.